we are going to be taking this tractor, hooking it up to that trailer, and taking it over there underneath the pole barn. The reason why is because there is a customer's car in there, and in this video, we are going to be setting up a chassis. Me, my dad, Crazy Kyle, we are going to be setting the car up, getting it 100% ready, so this guy can take it to the track and have fun. What'd you say, Kyle? Ain't got no gas in it. Ain't got no gas in it. So anyways, guys, we got the car out. It is a 2002 Dodge Avenger. It's got a 632 in it. He's gonna be running top sportsman. Damn, look at that motor placement. They pushed that motor way back there. Uh, ain't got no gas. Ain't got no gas. Dad's over there uh, working on stuff. Need more power. Ain't got no gas. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna get the car up on the lift over there. We're gonna go through. We're gonna set up the chassis for them. Get everything ready. Check this out. I'm, I'm probably fucking your video up, but this is a true meeting if you need an anti roll. <laughs> Wait, let's see the picture. <laughs> so, um, Dad sent me this photo. Uh, he 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 texted me one night. It was like you know it was like 11 o'clock at night, and he asked me if uh, if we could help this guy out and set this chassis up for him. And then he sent me the photo, and I'll actually drop the photo right here real quick. And uh, you can see the guy sent a text and said the car doesn't, the car's not wanting to work. Well, I don't think any car in the world would work if it was going down the track like that. Oh yeah, it was bad. So, so, need more gas. So it needs more gas. <laughs> so anyways, so uh, dad told him he brought the car to us. We would set it up. We'd get everything ready and get him going in the right, uh, going in the right direction. So that's the game plan for this video today. We are going to get the car in there on the lift. You can look at it. Kyle, it's kind of got like a, it's kind of like a crooked shuffle lean to it right now. Yeah, like it, right now. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely got something going on, but by the end of this video. I think trying to do California shuffle. Yeah, California shuffle is what we call it. But by the end of this video, we're going to get our man right, and uh, he'll be able to come pick this thing up and uh, take it to the track. But man, it actually looks pretty dope. I like it. We're going to get to put it on scale. We're going to see what it weighs. Um, he, like I said, it's a 632. He wants to run top sportsman with it, so I'm not 100% sure how fast them cars go, but we gotta get the chassis to work first before he can even think, even think about going fast out of track. Just need more gas. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, dude. That's his favorite we, TikTok ever. We showed him TikTok and look what he does. We showed, we showed my dad TikTok and he just hey. sits on TikTok. Okay, stop back by. Don't worry about your boy. You're doing good. Ain't got no gas in it. You need to get that, that car right there. You put a picture of it on the shirt, and then Bob's like, need more gas. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> just, <laughs> we're never showing him a TikTok again. No more TikToks for him. No more TikTok. My dude just sits on TikTok all night and just sits there and scrolls. And he's found all the videos that say need more gas in it. But all right, Kyle, enough talking. Let's get the car up on the yeah. lift. Get the car, not me. And let's get it ready. All right guys, so we got up underneath the car and this is going to be a project. Um, we gotta put the gloves on. We got brake clean, we got rags. There's a lot of cleaning we need to do. We just need to go ahead and start getting it cleaned up because it is awfully, awfully dirty up in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned. You can see right here, it's just, just, look. It's moist. It's 
it's moist. So uh, we're gonna get everything cleaned up first, get everything ready, and then we're gonna start the process of uh, pulling all our measurements, looking everything over, and uh, seeing what we gotta do. Hell, he's even got a, uh, a oil heater. He could plug in it here and heat the oil in the rear end. That's actually pretty dope. That's pretty smart right there. I, I, I don't have that. I need to, we probably should do that. You just heat up the oil before you go to first to fire it up. But, oh yeah. It's fancy. Definitely got something going on in here. Smells like ass. Yes. <laughs> I was waiting. I told you it was coming with it. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that, dude. Look at that brake clean. Clean that thing right on up. See, it feels a little dirty. See, this thing might be a new car. Yeah. I need to weigh this thing and see what it weighs on the front axle, but I mean, I'm sure it's probably got quite a bit of weight on it, but. It's got a 250 spring in it, but it's only probably a half inch from coal bind, so it probably doesn't have any stored energy in the spring, which doesn't help it travel any. So, but, I mean, in the front end, it probably needs to drop down so you can get some, I'm sure that strut. Well, you're gonna have to put that front end on it too, because that front end's low already up there, when it was just well, out there in the ground. You can't let the, whatever that is, can't accommodate the chassis. No matter, I can't or not accommodate a compromise. So the chassis has to be right. Everything has to be right on the chassis. And if he's got to redo some shit on his body, then that's what he's got to do. Because you can't, you can't hang a front end and compromise how the car is going to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying, but like all this stuff, if he had to move this or whatever to change the front end, then that's what he has to do. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. But I mean, because like I said, there, there's them springs really don't have much stored energy in them right now. We'll know when we scale it. I don't know if that 250 pound spring is heavy enough for that front end. What what springs are in front of your car? Probably 250. Really, I like to have that top one down closer to the housing because that's how it pulls. So right now it's pulling all the way up at the top of the housing. So if you had brackets like you have on your car that come down, my four link bar is closer to the top of the housing because that's where. When it pulls, it's gonna pull on the top of the housing. Right now, you've got the four-link bar all the way away from the housing, but that's just the way, this is just an old-style car. This still work. Yeah, that guy needs to go there. And this guy's probably gonna go up one. All right, go ahead and change it. So you need to bust all these loose and loosen this four-link, get the pressure off it, and then just move one bar at a time. So the and then, top bars will completely reset it up. The top bars will go down. For right now, get or this I'm one saying, down. Just these two bottom bars are only going to go down. Just right here. That's going to go down one, and, and this one over here is going to go up. I'm going to need to remeasure it. All right. Just move the two back ones down. One. If we had the tires off, it'd be a lot easier. It'd be a lot easier. I'm with you. See, we need to get some lights up under this car. Like my car, we got lights. Yes, we do. But. Alright guys, so got with dad. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bust all the himes. We're gonna get all the pressure off of the rear end. And we're gonna go ahead and drop these two back bars right here. We're gonna drop them down one hole and then we're gonna pull measurements again and figure out what exactly we gotta do. Oh, you, you, you need it. Wrong size, Kyle. That's the base we go. We need an inch and a quarter. Dude, are you alright, dude? You're you're pooper. That's like two or three shits today, ain't it? It's more than you. Yeah, man, I had my Tooth pulled, and I got me on these antibiotics. And uh, I think those antibiotics got my stomach. We sick. can't, we can't be showing them what's inside there. Mm. So we ain't, we ain't showed them yet. But uh, all right. So we put the uh, the rear of the bar on the chassis side, or on the rear inside down one hole. And now, what do you have him doing now? He, on the front of the chassis, go up one hole. And what's he? What's that going to do? It's just going to change the way the car is going to squat and where it's going to hit the tire. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He ain't got too many holes, Kyle. Nope. Make sure you roll that bar, Kyle, like I did. Yep. Maybe one at a time, 
make sure it's neutral so you can just get your bowl out. You just want where it feels a neutral spot. You'll feel it. Yep, that just feels good right there. The rest of it don't mind because we're going to hang the rear and set it in and then you're gonna have to adjust it as you go up. There you go, it's gotta come out. Go the other way. You're sucking, you're sucking it in, Kyle. We need to pull her out. Do you pull out? Huh? Do you pull out? No. Look at that. Look at the first time I did it. Man, Justin Ellis, he, he spoils us with the lights underneath the car. Yeah, this right here, this, this is tough. This whole uh, having to use a flashlight deal. And you didn't plan on putting no lights back there. Justin said, we're going to put some lights back there. Yeah, we're going to put some lights back there. Make sure there ain't no pressure on that bolt now, but that's neutral. Because you got pressure on it, it's going to hard to turn. Yep. He definitely needs to get a home boy now. different backspace wheel. He definitely needs a different backspace wheel to shove the wheel out. Yeah. Dude, I don't I wonder if he could really if he could run a 36 in the car. Well, I guarantee you can. He's got a 35 in the bitch now. That's what tire I'd be putting on this thing. Huh? That's the tire I'd be putting on it. He needs buddy like I said, like I said, he needs a different backspace wheel. He needs a wheel to shove that thing out of the way from that rear end. He needs this thing not to do the crooked shuffle. He don't need to be worried about the backspace on the wheel right now, but we'll go ahead and let him know that. <laughs> this thing needs to not. How fast did he say he wanted to go with? I think he said quarter mile, I think seven something, eight. Oh, he's, he's going quarter mile with it? Yeah, he runs that top sportsman deal, so. Oh, I got I you. think they go like seven. Oh, so he don't run six, pro 630. No, 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 he runs top sportsman. So how much did he have to weigh in that class? 2,700. Oh. I think they go like, like 790s or 80s. I got you. Which should be pretty doable. Yeah. I mean, that, oh, that big block we had, we went eight, eight twenties or eight thirties with it. I went seven. I went seven ninety one back in two thousand four with my ten five outlaw car with a with a five hundred. Seven ninety one. There's no way you had to have gone faster than that. I did. Ha, dude, seven ninety one. That means you would have went fucking five twenties in the eighth. No, you had to go. Yeah. This is a 04 home slice. What, the Pro Mod? 490. No. Oh. Chevy 2. Oh. 10.5 outlaw car. It ran 490s in the 8th, and I think it might. No, actually, I think it went 784. I was running Heavy Street. Plus, you have I to got you. 32, either 32 or 3,500 pounds. Ah, that's I see. was number. I was number one qualifier back then. I see. I went yeah, because the Pro Mod, you went season. like 407 or something? I was bearing down there, so I couldn't run. But, uh, yeah, I went, uh, I went, I think I went 784 is what I went. Proline called me. They said all the bearings, the main bearings, and everything looked good. Yep. So I'm supposed to go pick you that. Two bars up, Kyle. Yep. Supposed to go pick that motor up Monday. It's probably gonna come down. There you go. Just get it. That's why I said just get them out, and then do the same thing on the other side, and then you can grab them ones off the top. And then we'll go get. We'll go we'll get spacers, man. Sod strap in here. Strap and sod down there. <laughs> oh, it's gonna move a little bit. That's hot. That thing had way too much pressure on that shit, man. That's crazy. Go ahead, Kyle. Oh, can you get in there? No. Yeah, I'm right. But now you, you already busted the pressure off of that. Oh. What's going on? So, can't get this thing to spin by my hand. No. So I had to put the old, old channel locker on her. Sure. How, how easy does it spin now? Still not easy. Yeah, I, mean, I see that definitely got a little tension on it. But we're going to take this thing out, so we Nobody won't mess can... that up. Yeah. We already got one done. We got it to come off. This thing was, this thing was bound up. Yeah. I see y'all got fans going now. Y'all are thinking a little smarter. It's hot up in here, man. It's Florida. Dude, it's hot, dude. It's Florida hot. in February, it's 90 degrees, but guess what? Saturday, it's going to be 40. And then Monday, it'll be back to 90. We hit all, we hit all fucking seasons. Dude. In a week. In a week. 
<laughs> so what all you got to do here? You're getting it unbound up, and then you say you got to make this get, get some get some new spacers made. Yeah, for we're it gonna too. get some new spacers made for a guy. He's got a bunch of washers and everything in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get us a sleeve, a spacer made that goes over it, and helps it underneath the car. Uh, the shocks are right up against the wheelie bar, so. We were gonna set it up like I'd set it up like if it was my car. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's where our game plan is. We're gonna try to get this. The springs were all bound up, so we're gonna go ahead and get that stuff undone. Car was like, I mean, it was it was like borderline four by four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was up there, monster truck style. It was ready to go through some mud. Grave digger would have been very proud. Hell yeah. So we're gonna get them all set up and. Put these things back on get our sleeves on our bolts so we can space the shocks out and then we're going to continue to keep setting this thing up um, i think we should uh i've had a bunch of people actually hit me up about setting up cars yeah i think we should probably start trying to set up other things stuff. it would some, just help our program as yeah. in like i mean they're, they're paying to have it done they're paying for the knowledge so yeah. and i got dad over there got plenty of knowledge so and then we learn more and then the learn, easier so. we do our shit. i think i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna set up a deal if you want your if you want your rig set up, your car set up, buy Justice Washington Racing or uh, Big Country. Just hit us up. Hell yeah! Is this your uh, your uh, makeshift? Yeah. Six inches. Ingenuity. What'd you call it? Ingenuity. Ingenuity. Fucking Mac MacGyver. So he needed another three quarter inch. So he went and got Hello. a three quarter bolt, guys. Hello. And. Uh, we're oh, setting it on there now. The That's kind of where it needs to set at. So before you seen where it's sitting at, now you kind of oh, see no, where the tire's right sitting, right the chassis got a break. So we're getting somewhere now. Trying to see where the four link marker's sitting at. All right. So let's move the same this. on both sides though. Let's move this one up again. Y'all tighten these up. No. Now we're getting some adjustability. Oh, I like it. Adjustability is key. How'd that feel? Good, I just hit my weenus. <laughs> hit your what, weenus? My weenus, that's what on the end of your elbow, that's your weenus. What the f yeah, man. It is, that's what the doctors call it. And don't, listen guys, don't put the nuts back on any of this stuff. Always leave this stuff off. Cause I mean, sometimes I, you have to move it a couple times to get it right. So we're trying not to lose it. Just leave it set on the bench. And then when you're done, you go through and put everything on, tighten everything up. Are we gonna have one of those in our shop? Huh? Justin? Nah, he's doing some stuff. Huh? We gonna have one of those in our shop? A TV? Yeah. 84 inches. Ooh, shoot. If homeboy will ever come and finish it. Damn, buddy. I'm waiting on. I'm, I'm waiting on him to come finish my shop. Sure. Blue. Appreciate it. And Dennis, got the truck up behind you. Betsy. Oh, Betsy. That's nice. Look at this. Dennis just finished this truck right here. Look at this setup. How much hours you got on this seal? Take some time. We always know. Twenty. Twenty thousand dollars. Uh. Oh yeah. All right guys, so we're back here at the shop. As you can see, we got our bolts, we got our new spacers. Uh, they look so much better than a bunch of washers and everything put together. Kyle's gonna go ahead and pop those off. We're gonna throw the shocks back up in the car. We're gonna see where those things are gonna set up. And then we'll start looking at uh, uh, the angle of everything and make sure everything's 100% ready. And then we're gonna put the car on scales and see what it weighs out. I'm the same weight as the driver that's in the car. So I'll get up in the car and. We'll see what this thing weighs. He told me it's probably gonna be around 2,700 pounds, but we're just gonna make sure percentage is right from front to rear. But we're, we're almost close to getting this thing done. Look at you, you're so smart. Now that we got the spaces in there, you can see how much better that looks. Oh, it's not hitting off, the wheelie bar no more. Not hitting the wheelie bar no more. So we built spacers, we got that set up. I don't think the springs are in a bind no more. We got that all done. Look how much straighter everything is. So everything's straighter, everything's good. Um, all right, Kyle, go ahead and let it down slowly. Everything's straighter and gooder? Straighter, and, straighter and, gooder. and gooder. Straighter and gooder. Good letter on down, Kyle, come on. Let's see what it does. Let it down, Kyle. Come on, Kyle, let it down. What you waiting on? Huh? 
how far is it away from that three quarter inch bolt? It's on it. It's on the bolt? Yeah, both sides. All right, jack know. it up and take it off the bolt soon. I tried to tell you all that. Y'all didn't want to listen. You said all the way down. You might have to run these spanners back up a little bit because it's going to want to come down too low. Yeah. Let's see where it comes down. I still may move the four-link bars again. Good thing we didn't put them nuts on there. That's right. Quick, I'll let it down. Oh yeah. This thing's, thing's collapsed some shocks. Hell yeah. That's how, how much chrome be. is showing there? Um about two and a half inches. You push that snubber up in there? Yeah, that's well, what I'm, I'm saying. Have, to have you get in there. I want to see what you do with about, these about two and a, well, Is that a fat joke? Yeah. Hey Kyle, bring that um that that step roller step. Oh yeah. She's looking good out here now. They're not four by four no more. Look like a dump truck no more. Yeah, no more no more dump truck going on. But we got some serious rate going to the front. Is that good or bad? Or is that just how they built the chassis? Well, that could be the way the chassis is hung. See it how the chassis, the chassis is like going up in the air? Yeah, I got I just measured the frame rail. I can't whatever they got going on the chassis, that's them. Or the, the body. That's how they hung the body on it. But oh yeah. Dude, I could drive this thing. You look good. I mean you gonna drive with the foot hanging out and everything? Alright, hop out. Hop <laughs> out, I just got in. I just needed that measurement. So are we good or no? Yeah, well I just wanted to see how much you push it down so that way I can compensate for that. Well how much did I push it down? Well you need to get out so I can measure it again. Oh. You didn't measure it before you got it. Uh Kyle, hold that deal. I'm standing. I have to kind of watch my foot because I don't know where my foot's in that Kyle, let's air these tires up to 5.8. Kyle, y'all need to really clean the oil. Who dumped oil on this? Dump oil on wood? We ain't dump oil. Step. It's fucking slippery as hell. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't you know where that came from. Put five point eight in your tire real quick. Look at you, son. You did it. It's hard. Next time I'm putting you in there. Well, he the driver weighs three hundred. I only weigh two thirty, so you can't matter. put me in there. So, yeah, let them know what we got going on. Uh, we turned the dump truck into a dirt track car. Race car or a dirt track car? Well, she came in like a dump truck. Now she'd probably be like a drag car one at least. Check out them spaces, Kyle. Really are out of options. Oh, Dennis Barrow. Because the problem is this car's a very old car. So it doesn't have the adjustability. It just doesn't have the adjustability. That's the difference between a car like yours and a car like this. This car here, you know, for what this guy's doing with it though, it's perfectly fine. He just only can put so much power to it. I'm kind of out of holes up here. Uh, like the brackets like Marty Merrillet has on his chassis and on his housing makes all the world difference of putting a lot of power down. So, but I do believe this thing's gonna be okay where it's at. He's saying he's probably not gonna go out there and do the crooked shuffle no more? No, he'll be good. Uh, for what for what he's doing with it, it's gonna be night and day. I don't know who set this car up before, but they probably should never set a full link up ever again, to be honest with you. We even got the uh, the shocks all right in the rear. Pinion angle. Springs are not all bound up. I set them up with a degree and a half negative pinion angle. Um, so this dude's gonna like let go of the button. Yeah. He's gonna go like one flat 60 foot. Well, it should be good just a bit, but it, it ain't everything in the four link either. It's nah, a it's tune up a, it's as well. Tune -up so too. Between the tune up and the torque converter, that's where it's gonna, it's where it's gonna show its tail. So kind of just, just put a little snug on those. Those are just tightening up the spanners, guys, so those things don't back off with any kind of vibration. Yeah, so we're exactly a degree and a half negative pinion angle. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So that's going to that, that's, that's gonna be all right for this car. So And then what we got to do, we got to raise, raise or lower the front end? Well, I'll do that when it comes off the lift. Let me look at it. Um, and then we just got to put it on scales? Yeah, if I measure it right now, I could... Oh, and we got to do, do the, the anti-roll anti -roll links. You're right, Kyle. So we're going to get the anti-roll links in there, but she's starting to come together. I just want to know who told him we should take that off. I don't know. I don't know. If we ever find out who that is, they're going to get very hard. But, oh yeah. we got probably run the front end where it's at. I don't have to move it. So now we just got to put the anti-roll links in? You need to put the anti-roll links in and then put it on a scale. And if it's way out of weight, then he's going to have to, we'll, we'll put weight on the nose and see where it's at. And uh, then that'll, I'll tell him how much weight he needs to put on the nose to get the car where it's scaled pretty decently because the weight percentage on these things is huge. If the weight percentage is off, the car don't want to work either. These cars are a pain in the ass is what they are, all of them. You just got to find that happy medium. Um, also, y'all need to 
Uh, once we lift this up right here, I'm gonna put a little preload in this guy and then we just need to jam all these four link bars. And then that's it. Hell yeah. That's why I said when you get this shit done today. What you think, huh? We got it done, we're gonna get it wrapped up. My face is dirty as hell. Yeah. And I got, I got some. Kyle's got, Kyle's got a date tonight, guys. He's got a date. I mean, I'm dating her, so yeah. Yeah, you're dating her. But as far as coming down, we uh, got everything set up. We're gonna roll it outside real quick. We're gonna throw it on scales real fast, scale the car out, get everything ready. And then we're loading this thing up. Uh, just called the guy. He's coming to pick it up tonight. He's gonna get paid for it and uh, we're gonna keep on moving. Uh, I think we're gonna try to set up a few more cars. It just helps out our program. So if you have a car out there and you can get it to Florida and you want us to set it up, we'll get you going in the right direction. We'll get you in the right ballpark. Uh, and we'll get you going so hit me up you can shoot me an email or you could comment on one of my facebook posts or my instagram posts and i'll get you a, a quote set up but we got them all situated everything's good the car was not like that whenever it came in here but it is now leaving everything looks to be doing good working good we got the shocks working good everything's going to be good on it so when we get it on the ground we're going to check our wheelie boards just to make sure we got uh we got pretty level concrete here so we're going to check that out and then we're going to throw this thing on scales and and call it a day Right, guys so we just got this car scaled up everything it weighs 27.65 with me in it i'm the same weight as the driver so everything seems to be good uh percentage is a little light on the front end but we'll let him know if it does go out there and it starts wheeling or anything we'll tell him to just put some uh some nose weight on it but uh for right now i think he's got his best chance to go out there and go down the track now chassis setup is a main factor to a car going down the track but it's not everything it's all about the tune up the converter there's a lot more factors that play along to be able to make a car go down the track so hopefully he's got his tune up everything right and and this thing goes but i do believe that the car was jacked up when it came in here and it is it's a lot better now it's sitting a lot better everything's good on it and everything seems to be working so me and kyle are about to load her back up in the trailer strap her on down and uh Go ahead and uh, call him up and tell him he needs to come pick this thing up tonight because we are done with it. What is that? All right, guys, she is done. Hell yeah. First car, done and out. Uh, I think we're going to try to do a couple more of them like we've been saying, talking about. So um, you're in the Florida area, you want to bring your car down here? We'll set it up for you too. Uh, you can email us, swangang96 at gmail.com. Let me know in the email that you're wanting to get something done. But uh, when we get the shop all done, supposedly the guys are supposed to come uh, Monday now. They were supposed to be here this week to finish the shop. They didn't show up. So I'm hoping they show up Monday so they can get this all done because I do want to get everything moved over to the new shop. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel, turn that bell notification on, and keep on liking and sharing our videos. We're growing rapidly, and I can't do it without y'all, so I enjoy it. I'm Justin Swanstrom, and I will see y'all at the next video.